Good afternoon, everyone. I am Crystal Jade Estube, and along with me is my co-reporter, Mr. Mark Hill Saladaga. So, in this afternoon, we are going to report the Lesson 4, Continuing Professional Development or the Lifeblood of Teaching Profession. But before we start, I'd like to present to you the lear learning outcomes of this lesson. So, in this lesson, we are going to A, a critic and explain the pertinent of the CPD Act 2016 and other related legal documents. B is to compare the different CPD's practices from high-performing countries. And lastly, C, design counting professional development plan. So, in this lesson, a quote was given an emphasis which is growth is evidence of life so does any one of you have an idea what does this quotation implies all right so the this quotation implies that anything alive grows or anything that grows is alive so for a professional teacher he or she is always becoming better as a person and experienced teacher. No person or professional can claim he or she has already arrived at a state of perfection. It means that no professional has arrived in perfect condition. We, this is what we call developing our profession. So, what is Continuing Professional Development Act of 2016? Although this was already explained in our previous lessons, but I am still going to uh, give a little reminder of this act. So, the CPD Act of 2016, otherwise known as the Continuing Professional Development Act, uh, Act of 2016 is an act mandating and strengthening the continuing professional development program for all regulated professionals. This was proposed by De La Rosa to repeal Republic Act No. 10912 to burden the professionals of undergoing additional study. However, before enacting the CPD Act of 2016, it already alluded to 1987 Philippine Constitution, in which in Section 5, Paragraph 4 states that the state shall enhance the right of teachers to professional advan advancement. Okay, let's proceed. So there are other laws cited aside from continuing professional development. First is the Batas Pambansa Bilang 232 or the Educational Act of 1982. And so, <clears throat> what does Batas Pambansa Bilang 232 implies? So, Batas Pambansa Bilang 232 or the Education Act of 1982 is an act providing for the establishment and maintenance of an integrated system of education. It says here that it says in section 16, paragraphs, paragraph 4, that one, one of the teacher's obligation is to assume the responsibility to maintain and sustain his professional growth and advancement. Next is the Republic Act 9155, also known as the Govern Governance of Basic Education Act of 2001. So what is Republic Act 9155? Governance of Basic Education Act of 2001 provides the overall framework for principal empowerment by strengthening principal and leadership goals and local school-based management within the context of transparency and local accountability. It is also an act instituting a framework of governance for the basic education, renaming the Department of Education, Culture, and Sports or the DEX to the de Department Department of Education, also known as DepEd at the, at the moment, and ensuring enhancing professional competence, welfare, and working conditions of all personnel in the institutions or department. 
Next is the Republic Act 7836, also known as the Philippine Teachers Professionalization Act of 1994. So what does this act implies? Anyone? All right. This act aims to to strengthen the regulation and supervision of the practice of teaching in the Philippines and prescribing a licensure examination for teachers and for other purposes. So this gives an emphasis to teachers as they recognize the vital role of teachers in nation building, gives the licensure examination for teacher or the let, and it also created the board for professional teachers or the collegial body under the general supervision. So, this act also provided for mandatory CPD in which it states that teachers are encouraged to attend professional development and undergo the process to take an oral and written examination in addition to their merit proportion, as it was stated in Section 19, Periodic Merit of Examination of Teachers. However, Yes, there's always a problem. One of this is due to a lack of funding, which the merit examination has not been um, implemented. So next, under this is the Board for Professional Teacher or the BPT, in which they pass the resolution number 435, which states that every teacher shall participate in continuing professional development to strengthen and improve his or her prestige of his or her profession, competence, virtues, and productivity to be nationally and internationally competitive, stated in Section 3, Article 4. Another one is the Executive Order Number 266. It is an act in institutionalizing of the continuing professional education or no, also known now as the CPD uh, programs of the various professional regulatory boards under this PRC's supervision. It was signed and issued issued by the office of the President Fidel V. Ramos last July 25, 1995. This give the act, I mean, the executive order premise on the following. First is the various professionals play a crucial role in the nation building. Next is it is imperative to impose upon registered professional the completion of the continuing professional education or the CPE programs adopted by the concern board as, as a prerequisite of the renewal of licenses. Lastly, is the professionals who undertake the CPE programs are unab enabled not only to upgrade or improve their technical knowledge and skills, but also to keep them from abreast with modern trends and technology in their respective professions, thereby, thereby assuring, assuring the rendition of highly qualitative professional services that will be globally competitive under the General Agreement on Trade and Service, or the GATS, and the same time securing the safety and protection of the public. Now let's proceed on the salient provisions of, Repo of Republic Act 10912, or the Continuing Professional Development Act of 2016. So the salient in the Constitution, under the Article 3, it states that all licensed professionals must undergo CPD before the renewal of license. So, as you can see on the screen, there are pictures that show, so there are pictures that can be seen on screen. The pictures implies that teachers must show pieces of evidence or proof like certificates and other documents related to as a base for their renewal. Failure to do so is the rev revocation of license. The state policy on promoting and upgrading professions in the country and in the institutions of measures to continuously improve the professionals Competence under international standards is very much in keeping with teacher leaders, making among professional teachers. Alright, 
for the next part, may I call on my co-part? Thank you, Tube. And for my part, I would like you to know that there are four ways in which professional teacher can earn units. First, the professor track. As professionals, you can attend CPD seminars given by PRC to the accredited providers. What? You can serve as a resource speaker, facilitator, moderator, or panelist in CPD accredited conferences and even modules, articles, and books. What do you mean by CPD? CPD Continuing Professional Development. It is a combination of approaches, ideas, and techniques that will help you manage your own, own learning and growth. For example, you are a, a professional and you want to develop your, your skill. You want knowledge. First of all, you, you will attend the CPD or the Continuing Professional Development that will help you manage your own learning and growth. And for academic track, this academic track is the second way we, that professional teacher can earn units. This track, teachers can earn 45 units if you finish your MA program and other 45 companies to complete a doctoral program's educational requirements. Third way is a self-directed track. It refers to learning activities such as online training, local or international seminars, or non-degree courses that did not undergo, undergo CPD accreditation, but may be a CPD accreditation, but may be applied for for and awarded CPD units. Besides, the self-directed track includes serving as accreditors in the following organizations: ISO. ISA, PACUCOA, AACUP, PAASCU, SCU. For example, this is a self-directed track. They are, uh, they are professionals, but they, they are not undergoing a CPD accreditation. But they are still awarded by CPD units because they are. They are serving professional work experience. It is the diversity of work calling for substantial technical knowledge, skill and responsibility, as well as lesser degree of supervision necessary to ensure that good judgment is applied to protect the public during the course and scope of projects. This includes of your work experience of how you from based on what I understand, uh, this last way is uh, about your capability or your kung gaano nakataas ang yung experience sa trabaho mo uh, that will help you to ensure that good judgment is applied to protect the public. And developing a personal CPD plan helps teacher leaders develop purposefully. It is not enough to have a good intention to do CPD. The right choice should be made concrete in a simple and doable plan. Below is the sample of CPD plan. Okay, CPD need training, training, preparation of IPP. Their objective is to make PowerPoint presentation at least five lessons in accordance with standards of, in, of an effective PowerPoint presentation. Activities, they made tutorial, time frame, resources needed, human, IT teacher, tutor, material, laptop, and lessons, expected output, five PTs, PTs in five lessons. For example, in this table, they were gonna uh, discuss or they were gonna have a PowerPoint in front of other professionals and they will explain everything that they learned so that they it that 
and that PowerPoint will help them to improve their skills. Okay. Singapore is the first country to adopt the Professional Learning Community, a PLC, framework nationwide, DMAC and TAN 2013, Hiron and DMAC 2011, it has institu institutionalized PLC schools and professional development is evident and active. Teachers are encouraged to provide at least one hour per week to engage in a school-based training of which the leaders will provide structure and resources to engage the variety of inquiry-based practices like teachers, researchers, <laughs> network, lead by the senior specialist from MOE and or M M O E N E I and research activists, those with a high formal training in research, they serve as a mentor to conduct action research of teachers, lesson study, and other forms of learning circles. The goal is to foster collaborative inquiry and data-driven pedagogical reflection among teachers. Finland schools provide time for regular collaboration, collaboration among teachers on issues on instruction in the form of powerful training environment as they learn to engage in a cycle of responsible planning, action, reflection, evaluation. New Zealand, the teachers observe others other teachers demonstration and attend professional development activities they institutionalize CPD and empower teachers to set time with teachers teaching schedules Japan is well known for its lesson study the teachers is demonstrates as lesson as he is observed by his or her colleagues then followed by the open forum to critique and evaluate and improvements based on what I've understand these uh, other countries also uh, perform a lesson study that which they will explain everything so that uh, the other seniors will critique their uh, their works uh, so that it will help them to improve or to uh, move forward to their to becoming a professional teacher or a professional other professional jobs and that's all for our report and now thank you for listening god bless you all goodbye